All right, we do apologize for that. But moving on, the late Mukami Kimathi, widow to Kenya's freedom fighter, Dedan Kimathi, and a symbol of Kenya's fight for freedom, has been laid to rest at Anjabini, home in Nyandarwa County. Even as Kenyans among the family members and political leader attended the final farewell, questions still linger about the treatment of freedom fighters in the country. KTN's David Mudoka with more on Mukami Kimathi's final journey. The late Mukami Kimathi, widow of Mau Mau freedom fighter Dedan Kimathi, died last week in a Nairobi hospital. Her family home in Jabini, Nyandarwa County, was her final resting place, a funeral, a state event. We are letters. Residents, Mau Mau veterans, members of the Kimathi family, as well as political leaders attended the burial of the late field marshal. <laughs> Religious and Mau Mau war songs were performed during the event. <laughs> Even Deputy President Rigavi Gashagwa led the singing. The late was eulogized as a brave and selfless heroine as well as an exemplary matriarch. To me, you are and still are the embodiment of courage, strength for women at home and abroad. The life you lived was a full and gratifying one. Rest in peace, Grandma, knowing that the torch has been passed and your vision of a unified Kenya lives on in me and everyone here today. Mukami's life has been one fight after another. After the fight for independence, she spent most of her old age fighting to have the remains of her late husband located, exhumed, and accorded a respectful burial. She may have lost that fight, but the political leaders present were keen to assure her family and Kenyans that her fight was not in vain. <laughs> Huyo kimadhi haku kuwa muhalifu. Alikuwa nishuja wa kupigania uhuru wa taifaletu la Kenya. Na mimi na kubaliana na nyinyi. Na sio nyinyi peke yenu mtaenda kutafuta mahali huyo mungwana shujaa wetu alizikwa. Serikali ya Kenya itaungana na nyinyi. Mukami send off for the ignited debate on how the nation has treated Mau Mau veterans who are in the forest with Dead and Kemathi and other frontline freedom fighters. Over the years, Mau Mau veterans have complained to the Kenyan and British governments regarding full compensation for the liberation fight. The late Mukami herself, according to opposition leader Raila Odinga, despite her status, did not enjoy the fruits of what her husband and her fought for as she stayed at a rented house for a long time. Nipo, enda kumona ye mwakajana likuwa na ugoa kule kurukocho. Hakaniambia mimi, ye ya mechoa kuhishi katika nyumba ya kikodisha. Ikamambia, tutafute ye nyumba. Na tukatafuta nyumba, National Housing Corporation, kule ya Thriva. President William Ruto and Deputy President Rigavi Gashagwa have however said that their government will honor the Mau Mau and are fast track in several projects. Kuna sehemu kubwa pale Uhuru Gardens Nairobi ya watu wa Mau Mau ili tuweke historia sahihi na kweli na tuwakumbuke kwa mchango wenu. According to the president, a museum will be established in the late Mukami's home county of Nyandarwa and the Njambini Health Center renamed to Mama Mukami Kemadi Hospital in honor of the fallen heroine. And as the burial of the late Mukami Kemadi progressed in Nyandarwa, here more than a hundred kilometers away along the ever busy Kemadi Street in Nairobi, businesses went on normally and people walked freely clearly and maybe obliviously enjoying the fruits of what Mukami and Kimathi fought so hard for, freedom and independence. David Muthoni.